One way to camouflage your gun is to use a gun sock. Simple, stretchy, slide over fitting gun sock. Get them in various colours. This one seems to have more predominantly green leaves on it. That part's for the stock. As you see there, there's a bit of a cutaway for the trigger. And it fits along the action and the barrel part. And although it looks like it's made for a single barrel or for a rifle, it will actually fit an over and under such as this. The idea is you cut it where required, wherever you want, just slide the parts over and then cover the gun how you want to. The one disadvantage I find with this though, I find this material is a bit slippy. So when you grip the gun, and in particular shotguns, when you fire, the movement, as you grip in the fore end, there, it makes it slide about a bit. Not the most perfect thing to use, but I would say more than adequate. Let me show you an idea of how I do it. Here's a gun sock that I use on my shotguns. As you can see, it's cut quite small. Fits over the fore end and a part of the barrel. And another part there just to fit over the front part of the barrel. This particular gun sock actually was cut to fit a rifle. That's why it looks so short. That part goes over the fore end of the rifle, the barrel, and this small part is for the silencer. However, I find it more than adequate for a shotgun. I'll show you it fitted. Here's the gun sock fitted. The fore end part over the fore end. The small part which is for the rifle silencer over the end of the barrels. And in the middle, in between, to cover up the bare barrels, I've got a silencer cover that come off a full bore rifle, a centre fire. The reason I do this is twofold. First of all, as you would imagine, to cover up the bare barrels. But secondly, to break up the pattern. Normally the stock part is in your shoulder, close to your body. And besides it's wood, so that's a natural colour. You'd cover your hand with your glove on over the chrome, plain metal, shiny part there. And this part is the one that's exposed. And I find that breaking up the shape, breaking up the pattern, the colours and the general look of the gun by using one colour, one pattern there, another one there, this one happens to be slightly darker and again either the original or something totally different from the two right at the end it just helps to disguise the shape of the gun whether it's a rifle or a shotgun so here I've used the original gun sock as much as I don't like it being a bit slippy when you hold it and fire but I think the combination is a good one Looking at it without the silencer cover in the bit middle, you'll see the rifle blacking there, the barrel blacking I should say. No big deal, you've still got the break up effect, the colour there, the wood of the stock, the camouflage pattern there, the camouflage pattern at the end, and that, to animals or birds, would just appear as a dark shadow. The only problem with leaving your barrel bare at sections to try and achieve a break up pattern is it's a bit shiny and could reflect the light a little bit but it's something that might be worth trying rather than just trying a complete gun sock or one plain piece of material whether patterned, camouflaged or otherwise it might be worth trying it in sections here is a shotgun that is camouflaged by the manufacturer all the way down the barrel, the fore end, the action, although it's not shown, even the stock is camouflaged. The door there to insert the cartridge and the button, 
that's not camouflaged nor is the trigger guard there but that's of minor importance and although this is already camouflaged and to look at it in the shop you would think that's ideal I do try to modify it slightly again with the gun sock it makes just a little bit of difference and I think it's worth doing using the same gun sock the one that I use for a rifle and for the silencer on the rifle I put this on the gun just to help break up the shape a little bit let's show what it looks like when it's on the gun as you can now see the small part of the gun sock there on the fore end there's just enough room for me to grip it and have no slide about effect with a ruffled crumpled up look it adds to a bit of 3D the small silencer part there from the rifle it helps to break up the pattern of the gun into different sections just to remind you what a single pattern would look like this is the complete gun sock I haven't used yet although this shows up as green leaf and this one has got more of the autumn winter leaf pattern on it's still the same thing that is a plain single gun looking type shape whereas this one it breaks it up nicely into several sections to help hide it out into the field in a different video I'll show the effect of this when actually out using the gun but for now I hope this gives you an idea of how to camouflage your gun to help hide it, disguise it, even if like this one it's already camouflaged.